Hello there, Lura. Okay, really sorry for the delay in getting your work back to you. Okay, I really don't know what happened and I apologize for that. Okay, usually it's 24 hours, but for some reason, it, for some reason, there's a bit of a mix up. So let's have a look. Some people. What could we say instead of some people? Well, we could say numerous economists, yeah? Um, countless sociologists say that international marketing has a deteriorating impact on to, well, regarding a country's economical and cultural development. Others claim the opposite. Not bad. This is a essay, uh, spelling. I will take the side of globalization that's not clear. I will, um, wouldn't it be better if we just said this essay favors international uh, global marketing? I will elaborate on the advantages. Full stop. On the and we'll elaborate on the advantages related to this issue. Full stop. We can't say the side of globalization because globalization is. Um, uh the side of globalization no we have to you can you can't say that oh it's just too vague okay also what i did with the improvement here or the correction was i removed the personal pronoun and i just wanted to put the emphasis on the essay then later in the essay we'll say your opinion and this just makes it sound a little bit more academic first of all the internationalization of marketing opens new horizons for inventors and businessmen by the means of the vast okay by or we could just say through vast amounts of information about products and services from around the globe okay by the means of or we could just say through the okay and that's just much more succinct and this is used incorrectly as well okay consequent now it would be really good if you gave me an example here and you build your argument with some supporting sentences anyway consequently producers and providers okay have more ideas about how to improve their own inventions for instance in the middle of the 20th century good now we've got the example that's fantastic okay um for instance, in the middle of the 20th century, in Soviet Union, the Iron Curtain policy led to a shortage of good quality infant clothing and accessories. Since the government had allowed European advertising on their territory, comma, the variety and quality of domestic baby clothing produced dramatically increased. So quite a lot of modifications there, okay, to a shortage of good quality, okay. Let's see, for instance, in the middle of the, the income policy led to shortage of good quality clothing and accessories. As soon as the woman had allowed European marketeers to advertise on the territory. Ah, that's what I was going for. Territory. Advertising on the territory, that's fine. We don't need of the country because it's it's clear we're referring to the country. Okay, so just delete that part. This example therefore demonstrates the positive effects on the country's production. No, the positive effects for the country receiving such advertising however um i wouldn't have said positive effect on the country's production i said maybe the positive effect for consumers yeah and also we need to pay attention to what actually is global marketing are we mixing it up with international trade so you might want to just check on wikipedia what we mean by international marketing second of all not only global advertising not only does global advertising open new markets for business, but it also establishes challenges, which is impossible to face within a single country. I don't understand this.
So you're saying global marketing opens up new markets for businesses and establishes challenges which for a single country are impossible to face. That's what you're saying there and it, I can't really see the, the connection. For example, such companies such as Google and Facebook in the time of international inspection of their, ex of their services came across the problem of immense growth of the number of customers. In the process of resolving that issue, advertisement giants gave birth, okay, resolving that issue, comma, these advertisement giants gave birth to the colossal amount of modern software technologies and frameworks. So how does this establish challenges which are difficult for a single country to face? I cannot see the connection there. And this is about coherence and cohesion. Therefore, once again, this fact makes clear the benefits of global marketing. So, yeah, we've really got to focus on some of the cohesion and coherence issues. And this issue is quite easy to solve. Okay, I'll give you a link to sentenceguide.com and there you can have a look at like a program for you to go through and I think it would be perfect for you because we've got like a good two months to improve all right and I'm pretty certain I can at least get you to 6.5 possibly a 7 okay especially if you're prepared to work intensively so let's have a look all in all considering the, afor the aforementioned examples I can conclude that international market plays a vital role in global progress by inspiring and setting up new challenges for humanity driving us forward on the path of evolution not bad very good finish actually uh, so if we were working together uh, we'd work on cohesion and coherence get these secondary sentences sorted out really simple task to do and then we've got the rest of the course to focus on essay correction and focus on grammar. So have a look at the links and then let me know what you decide to do, Lurie. All right, have a good day.